you know, as I as I sit here contemplating my life, my existence, it, my time here at MFN, my friendly neighborhood studios, I I think uh, I, I I'm I feel like we with all the closure that we're getting from some of these puppets, I feel like the end has got to be near, right? Like once we open up that elevator, what what awaits us? Who knows? Who can say? Somebody, no spoilers. If you're in the comments and you're you're trying to spoil the game for people watching who haven't played before, or to me, I mean, by the time you see this, I've already finished the game. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you that that's how, how recording videos works. I already played the dang thing. It's me, Bo Astra, here for another episode of My Friendly Neighborhood. Uh, we're about to head into the music studio. We're going to try and clear out the last of the stuff here in the offices so we can continue on with our lives. George is just here. Not anymore. Uh, more ammo. Hammer? Why is there a hammer in here? Uh, ABC Market Research. It's a market survey from 1981. MFN Studios Market Survey says, In recent years, television viewership has surged, and television programming has multiplied and diversified, as broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages, and their children, beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood, imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, My Friendly Neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of the series. I'm going to be honest, if there was a show called Dinosaur Mayhem on when I was a kid, uh, I also would have watched that. Uh, you know, maybe I would have watched both. Let's see how much time I have in my, my very busy child schedule. Uh, I wonder if all of the puppets sort of going, going sort of rogue. Norman. Stop going rogue while I'm talking about you going rogue. Uh, I wonder if all the puppets going rogue has anything to do with uh, the fact that they were trying to change the, the core programming of My Friendly Neighborhood. Puppets took that a little personally, you know? What is this? Ah, trumpet polish. That is, I believe, the last thing we needed, right? We just needed trumpet polish. Hell yes. Hell yes. Oh, hold on. There's uh, supposed to be another door in here, yeah? Oh, it's blocked off. I see. Uh, What else do we have in here? I know it seems to be telling me that there is something else in the, the room that I can pick up. Does any of the... Oh. It was one measly little coin. Well, under easy to understand how I missed it then. Uh, it's time for us to visit the last room in the office that we have not been to. Um, and then we need to go back into the west lot so we can take that elevator down uh, to the other part of the sewer so we can help Ray with his sort of problem, whatever problem he's having with those pipes. We'll help Ray out, you know? Might as well. I haven't seen anyone else just yet. We, we, it seems Ray is kind of the last remaining, last remaining man, puppet, boy, king, prince, for us to help. He might be royalty, who knows? He doesn't act like it, that's for sure. Very aggressive. Very aggressive with his wrench. Nasty puppet man. 
go. There's one thing I am certain about it is I will never be friends with you guys. Oh, I can take these. I do feel like that is telling me something that I can take those. I might be able to do something with that. Because there were those statues in that corridor that we could put things on. I think that's legitimately the only thing I've found now at this point that can then go on the statues. Oh, we found another cheat tape. I wonder what those do. Every time I go to the, the main menu, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do with them just yet. Um, maybe once I've beaten the game, the, the purpose of the cheat tapes will have revealed itself. I think that was legitimately the only thing in here. Cool. Other than the, the tokens. And now we're going to have to deal with the short squad again. You all can go to puppet hell. That one came at me viciously. That, that puppet was a maniac. He was a maniac, maniac on the floor. And now he's dead. Oh boy. You know, cleaning things up. Go to puppet hell. Go to puppet hell. Uh, can I fit all of these? I can only fit uh, three of them right now. Okay, well. We are going to take the three that we can, and we are going to put them into our little locker here. Our little toolbox. We're going to take those back, and we're going to put them on the statues in the hotel. I'm not, and I never will be. And the fact that you think so is frankly insulting. The fact that you think it's possible hurts me to my very core. I'll be friends with Norman before I'm friends with you. And he's depressing. At least I can understand Norman. You, you three, you three little shitheads, worst thing possible. You're, you're scrappy do. You're the worst part of everything on this lot. Even the, the eyeball wall that attacked me. You're worse than that. And also due to no small part that he, the eyeball wall spat you out at me as part of an attack. That's literally the worst thing that you could do to me is make more of you. God, I hate those puppets. Oh, wait, hold on. There was one thing we were going to look at. Um, I just wanted to... I just... I know it's not. I know it, it couldn't possibly be. But I remember seeing this little box here that's got, like, these weird symbols on it. And I'm just trying to see... Okay, no, those are, those are different symbols. Those are very clearly different symbols. Um, and now I'm just wondering how I'm supposed to get into that that safe, because we haven't seen anything. And there's also the soundstage basement. I'm now just like contemplating my existence and and, and wondering what I what I've missed, what potentially I've missed. Uh well. No use dwelling on it. Let's head back to. Uh, yes, over here. Because we're going to need to... I guess we might as well make the thing while we're here, just so we can be done with that. Um, to sort of clear things out, try and prevent us from having to keep coming back uh, to places. Okay. So we're going to have to remember 
what that documentation said. Oh, well, we don't have to remember. We we have it in our inventory. We can just double check it. But we have to... We have to do... Don't try this... Kids? Don't try what you're about to see me do at home. Uh, it's... Not a good. Wait. No, we're not going to do it yet. First, we're going to go back down to the basement. And we're going to do this. Then we're going to go do a chemistry. Which you should just, by no means, copy what I'm about to do. Ray? Bad Ray. Oh, motherfucker. No patience for your shenanigans. No patience whatsoever. And in fact, I'm gonna shotgun the hell out of George when I run into him. Hey, George. You know what? Not dealing with you anymore. Not interested. Uh, is he gonna come after me? Oh man, every time I shoot him, I'm I'm just like really really hoping he will fly off into the void. I know he'll respawn later, but I just want to see it happen. I just want that satisfaction. I want to give him the death, the uh, the void, the void death uh, that he craves. Okay. What of What was the point of this? What oh hey Ray. Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I I just look, when when you've got a problem you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. I don't know, that usually helps me. Good. Well, I'm going now. See you, Ray. You, you good, bud? Okay. It seems like he's... He's had a little existential moment here and uh, we're gonna leave him to, uh, to to work out his his anger issues uh, but you know he's wrong you know I I feel like sometimes that uh, hitting things with a wrench is a really good way to, to sort of work out your frustrations and uh, solve all your problems there's an invisible wall there you bastard and I want you to fly over it Okay. You know what? I got it out of my system. I got it out of my system. Uh, we haven't saved in a while, but I don't feel like I need to. It's not particularly dangerous around here. Shut up, Norman. It was nice and quiet down here. Okay, hold on. So I'm going to, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to think about this for a second. And, uh, you know what, when I figured out a solution, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll be back. Give me a second. You know, I've been here trying to, to sort of think of a solution to this problem here. Norman has really sort of, really sort of gotten, uh, in the way of that. But you know what I did remember while here, I was here? Play again. No, I, uh, I did remember that there was a third movie that we did not watch back in the theater. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I wish you would stop noticing. So God. I meant what I said, though. I would rather be friends with Norman than with those awful, awful, little shitty puppets. Hey, Norman? Hey, Junebug? 
Okay. All right. Well, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go back up to the office because we're a fool and we we forgot to watch a movie. And uh, if my time with with games like The Witness have tossed me anything, uh, or you know Fez or any sort of like other uh, tunic games that uh, sort of give you not uh, not quite linear think outside the box puzzles to solve I would not be surprised if that third movie that we did not watch and apparently didn't need for anything was not uh, was not some kind of secret to uh, doing something what exactly it would help us do who can say we won't know until we watch it. So we're uh, we're gonna head back over there. Or at least I am. You know, uh, maybe uh, maybe I'll just cut back to it uh, just to save you the the trouble of me walking all the way back over there. So how's your how's your day going? Good, good. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad to. Uh, imagine that you've you've had a had a good day and if you haven't had a good day oh I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry to hear that I hope uh, I hope things have uh, gotten better for you that your day has improved in some measure nice weather we're having oh thank God we're here uh number three was the <gasps> there's a criminal you enjoying this goblet oh shit it's a safe. Seven, twelve, four. Okay. Well, I guess we have a safe clue now. I learned my numbers when I was we we picked that up, and now uh, I guess join me or or don't. I'll skip ahead. As we uh, head off in search of more information, instead of instead of uh, having it just be me looking around for strange esoteric pieces of information that I don't know exactly where they are, uh, we're gonna June bug. Get away from me! That was the closest she got for a while. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna skip ahead again. Or you know what? We're not gonna skip ahead. We have the stuff on us. We're just gonna do this thing, since we have the things that we need to do the thing. And uh, we're gonna, once we have that, we'll we can we can make our way towards the hotel at any time. But you know, I just wanna. I just want to see what else there is, what else the game has to offer. Uh, we need our garden things. All right, so here we have Barry's Jam Solvent. Uh, add the following into the mixing station bottles. We need Luma Lux Film Developer, Weed Out Weed Killer, and Virtuoso Trumpet Polish. Turn on the water using the tap, and then press the following buttons for the indicated times. Red for one to two seconds, green for one to two seconds, blue for three to four seconds, and then green for two to three seconds. So, and think it's just gonna do the proper thing, I guess. Somehow we'll know that that is what we need. All right, everything is ready. So we're gonna check the times one more time just to make sure we have them right. Uh, red, one to two seconds. Green, one to two seconds. Blue, three to four seconds and green to three seconds. Okay, so red, green, blue, green, and then one, one, three, two. Red, green, blue, green. One. One. One, two, three. One, two. Did we do it? Do we have the proper... I guess we wouldn't have any way of knowing. I guess we'll find out when we use it. 
But now that we have that, uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to make my way to a save room just so we can sort of book end this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep looking for, uh, for where I remember seeing that dome before. Cause I, some, it's like sticking in my, my memory that I've seen it someplace before. And I just want to, I want to confirm that for myself. Um, with that sort of out of the way, we are going to save and we're going to call that for this session. Thank you for joining me uh, for this another episode of My Friendly Neighborhood. This has been Bo Astra uh, uh, and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. How am I going to fit all these masks in my inventory? <laughs>